This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news, all right? So Jake Paul now thinks he has a chance with Deontay Weller now that he won against, I'm mean, sorry, Tyson Fury, uh, now that uh, he beat Deontay Weller. Now, Tyson Fury won last time, too. And Deontay Weller had every excuse in the book, you know, like I was, my legs were tired because of the, the costume I came out in, uh, you know, every excuse. He has no excuse this time. He got KO'd in the 11th, I think it was 11th round, right? He got KO'd, man. I like Deontay Weller a lot, man. Uh, I like his confidence game. I like, I like his focus. But last fight was a little weird because he had so many excuses, you know? I was like, dude, just take your loss and get better and then come back right back in. But... Tyson Fury is a beast. Tyson Fury got everyone thought Tyson Fury was going to lose because Drake was like shouting now, you know, shouted him out on video and everything. We we played that uh, we played that earlier, and everyone was like, "Oh, it's the Drake curse." But actually, they they broke the Drake curse tonight. Uh, he won. He took out Deontay in the eleventh round. Where is this picture? Yeah, right here. And they both got $25 million even before pay-per-views, pay -per so they'll get more money. Uh, Deontay has plenty of money to retire. He might want to bow out because it's kind of embarrassing, but it's up to him. It's his career. Um, he is a warrior. He said he is. Little Dirk. Now, let's talk about this, and some of you Dirk fans won't like what I'm going to say right now. Uh, little Dirk. It took him a long time to get to this this level in his career i mean he's been in the game since like 2011 he was signed to french montana he got signed to def jam got released from def jam in the past couple years he really like made his own click and really took off you know like he really focused unfortunately what was it two years ago now two and a half years something like that he got caught up at the super bowl in atlanta he was at the varsity with King Von, they tried to take somebody out. They were caught on video. They went to trial. Well, they didn't go to trial yet. Sorry. They went to pre-whatever. He got Bond. So did uh, King Von. And then the cooties hit, shut everything down, and they haven't had a, a date. He's making a lot of money now. Okay? Making a lot of money. He's spending a lot of money. Okay, if I was in his position, right... I would be saving all that money for my family. I mean, he's making millions of dollars right now. Millions. But he's buying houses. He's buying Lambo. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, he can spend his money however he wants. But he has children and he has a wife. And this wife is an upgrade from his last wife. We've seen the last one. We all have. I'm not going to put it on the screen because, you know, he's in a good place, right? I feel bad, though, because I know he's going to go to trial. And probably, I mean, he's on video, okay? This isn't like, yo, I hope he beats the cake. You know, it's like, it's going to be hard to beat that case. He's going to have to do some time, for sure. Mm. Unfortunately, but he was caught on tape. Because it was really like an ops thing. I think those guy, that guy did something towards them before, and they were retaliated. I don't know. Anyways, should do it at the varsity, man. There's innocent people there, especially at the Super Bowl. But... He's talking about what he wants for his birthday as another kid, and he wants to get married. That's nice. I like that he's a family man. But save your money, bro. You're making good money. He's dropping an album in a month. I hope he allocates all that money and puts it in his girl's name and and makes sure his family got, like, like, set up an annuity or something, you know, with, like, $5 million. I'm sure he can make $5 million pretty easily. He's one of the top artists right now, okay? He could easily make $5 million in the next year. Set up an annuity, man. So over the next 10 years or 20 years, they're getting like, you know, a good 20 grand a month. You know, it'll make a little bit of money in an annuity. They'll guarantee 20 grand a month. The house will be good. They'll have food. They'll be able to take care of the cars because you don't know what the future holds, man. Like this is just like. This isn't me being negative, man. This is just me being like, I wish somebody would coach these guys. Like, yo, you got a case coming on my G, you know? 
Diddy is just causing trouble for himself, man. He can't choose whether he wants to be with Joy Chavez or if he wants to be with Young Miami. And like he's playing both sides of the fence right now, trying to be a young player when he's really 52 year old, almost billionaire, right? But the only reason he can do this is because he's a billion, almost a billionaire. He can pay his way through this. But you know what? That comes with people that don't really care about you, man. All you are is a bank. You know, and if I was Diddy, to be honest, I would be looking for someone to like settle down with at this point, because before you know it, he's going to be 60 and ain't going to be that appealing anymore. He ain't going to be. I mean, I got to give him credit. He's keeping it young at 52. That's that's incredible. He's in shape. Got his kids. Parties. Still Diddy. Get someone to settle down with, bro. Come on, man. I know it's hard to find someone that loves you, man, but come on. g Easy says he saw Madonna twerking on Quavo. That's just nasty, man. She's in her 60s. She's really looking. I mean, she's legendary, but she's really looking for attention. Like, she's, like, in her 40s or something. It's weird. Jack Boy talks about Poo Shiesty. And he talks about that it's cap with all that time they're saying like they always he says they always do that in florida they 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 uh overdo your time let me see i downloaded the wrong thing hold on one sec i want to play it for you guys because he says it better than i can say it and uh yeah, hold on one sec because uh you know they're they're they're, they're saying that push ice is gonna get life i mean come on man you ain't gonna get life i, I knew that was like way overestimated i say he does five to ten probably five you know what i mean i don't think he's gonna do any more than five years and probably will do less than that but we'll see i mean it's federal time so whatever they give him is pretty close he ain't facing life he's gonna be all right florida just make your florida they make your time sound crazy like we gonna be all right watch this florida bitch Every time I go to court in Florida, they say some wild life shit or life plus 30 years. That was my last shit. Like, what? I ain't catch up. All right, whatever. All right, let's go to trial. Give me what you're going to give me then. This is not coming like that. Down South Florida, Miami, Broward, Palm Beach. Listen, our conviction rate through the roof. Because when you go in that courtroom, them niggas go. Bro, the judge going to talk so gangster. The judge is talking so gangster in the courtroom. The judge is talking about life this, 50 this, 60 this. You like, what the fuck? But he really just telling you the max that that time hold. That shit, that shit really be just get you scared, make you tell on somebody, make you tell on yourself, make you do shit. Yeah, so Jack Boy keeps it honest on that one right there. Um, I think that's all we got in this segment. Let me see. Yeah, that's about it, man. Deontay Wilder, man. Jake Paul got to cut. Pipe down. Pipe down, buddy. You ain't going to be able to fight Tyson Fury. Peace. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Smash that like button. I'll check you guys in the next one.